The state is slowly granting approval to more counties for the Five Star Variance Program, the latest to join the list, Douglas County, Larimer Counties. The program lets certain businesses reopen indoors just as the cold weather is really starting to set in. We want to gauge your comfort level here with this program. Will you visit businesses under the Five Star Variance Program? Let us know. We've got a poll that's running on our 9 News Twitter page. Almost 700 of you have voted this morning. Uh, while you do that, indoor dining started in many restaurants Wednesday evening, and Jordan Chavez is in Parker this this morning. Jordan, this could be the Christmas present a lot of restaurants needed. Yeah, you know, Natasha, and we actually just learned within the last half hour that Jefferson County has now finished its application to the state to also join this program, and they say their first priority will be restaurants without drive throughs Now, this is really kind of uh, a reward, essentially, for these communities where we're seeing a decrease in the spread of COVID, like here in Douglas County, where the Tri-County Health Department says that they are seeing a steady decline in the number of cases as well as the number of hospitalizations. And so because of that, we are now seeing more businesses here that are being being given the green light to operate indoors at about 25% of their capacity. So for this specific area, we are looking at including 18 restaurants, 14 gyms and one door indoor event venue. And then Douglas County said that more than 100 other businesses are currently undergoing an approval process to also reopen indoors under this five star variance program as well. Now that number is continually being updated. So we've actually published this official list in this article on nine news.com. So go check that out there. The health department said that you know, they understand the economic toll COVID has really taken on businesses like restaurants and gyms. So they see this as a bit of an opportunity for them. And in order for them to actually be able to do so, there has to be a certain number of precautions set in place, like a daily log of customer information for purposes of contact tracing. They have to ensure that they've put in place some improved ventilation because we know air quality is really important uh, with the spread of COVID. So they have to do um, extra they may have to do some extra things with their ventilation system. Their tables have to be 10 feet apart as opposed to six feet apart. And that is proving to be a bit of a challenge for businesses. Um, and they're, they're willing to do it because they, they want to reopen and they want to serve their customers. Um, but 10, that extra four feet can be a lot for a business. And so Douglas County and then Jefferson County, and like we previously mentioned, Larimer County has also been given the go ahead from the state for this program. So far there, 40 businesses have been pre approved and they can reopen immediately. And then 20 businesses are expected to go under inspection sometime next week to also be able to do that. Natasha. All right, Jordan, thanks for going through that. And we want to know this morning, do you plan on visiting any of those businesses that are participating in that five star variance program? Jordan just went through and taking a look at the poll results this morning, 645 of you have voted, 47% of you say yes, 34% say no, 17% are unsure. Keep voting on our 9 News Twitter page. We'll be checking the results throughout the morning. And, uh, you know, going through Jordan's plan, I mean, it seems very safe. The state, of course, approving all of this with strict guidelines. It's good for businesses that want to reopen. I can understand people who say no or they're unsure about it, given that the virus is still out there. But at the end of the day, uh, it's still a choice. Jordan? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to add there is, you know, the state can come up with whatever plan it wants. The individual counties can come up with whatever plans they want. But at the end of the day, we got to remember that we are in control of the actions we take. So if we're going to go, yeah, we got to follow those rules. But if you're not feeling super comfortable, it's totally fine. Stay home, order takeout. There are other ways that we can support these businesses as well. I think that it's just important that we do somehow support them. I would agree. I mean, I just think it's nice that we also have some solutions, right? Because at the beginning, we were all just trying to figure this out, and it didn't feel like there were a lot of solutions for all those businesses that were also really struggling out there. So it feels like there's some solutions for everyone to do what they feel is comfortable and also to provide that support to those businesses. Yeah, I agree with all you guys. I mean, I think it's a great option for uh, for some people, but probably not for all people. But having said that, these restaurants are not going to survive unless they get some help. And that's what the government is for. And it's just it's just maddening that the government can't get this get this bill passed. I mean, it, it's it's just crazy. These businesses can't wait any longer. And so hopefully something will happen in the next week or so.